Okay, come back, come back to 60 now. So we, we've, let's say, finished the mitral valve scanning, more or less. And now we, I want to uh, see the left atrial appendage. So remember, we are now retroflexed. So in order to see the, um, the, the appendage, which is orange, uh, you just have to release the retroflex, right? So just release it. And you see immediately the um, um, appendage is uh, seen here. But unfortunately, we have here the problem, which is very typical. Uh, this, you know, what is this? What is this? This, this little structure here, or maybe this I one. I don't know. You don't know. Uh, so this is this left superior vein, uh, pulmonary vein. Mm -hmm. And there's a membrane that is just uh, a fold of, of the uh, left atrial wall and the venous wall. And then there is an entry to left atrial appendage. In real examination, this structure creates a lot, a lot of artifacts because it is a double layered structure here. And uh, usually it creates many reverberations which cover all the left atrial appendage. So either you don't see the thrombus which may be there, or you see something which you think is a thrombus, but in fact it's just, just the artifact. You know how important it is to avoid that, because then you may say, okay, the patient cannot have cardioversion, which is not correct. The patient could have had cardioversions, cardioversion if we image the left atrial appendage properly. So now the question is how to avoid this. And uh, here we have a trick, which is very important, because look, here we are now uh, looking at the left atrial appendage through the vein, through the vein. And we want to see the entry to the left atrial appendage from below, from below. So, so what to do? we have to go deeper, yeah? Yes, try to go deeper. Okay, but you see that the, the appendage is now disappearing. It's almost on the side of the, of the image. So what to do next to see it better? What do you think? I will just cut it for you, okay. How to see, yes, very good. So you did antiflex, antiflex yeah? yes. So you are now deeper in the esophagus, but you are looking up to see the left atrial appendage. And look what happened. We have it on the center of the sector. We have this Coumadin ridge, which is the fault creating the artifacts away from the uh, propagation of the ultrasound beam. So now you have perfect uh, setting for imaging the left atrial appendage. And now if you put it in the center, you can rotate the plane from zero to uh, 45, 90, 130, and you, you can still have the left atrial appendage visible in the sector, right? So you are now uh, rotating the plane around the left atrial appendage and you keep, keep it visible all the time. So this is a good view to exclude or confirm a thrombus in the, in the left atrial appendage. <laughs>